everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new my name is Elaine welcome welcome obviously a different setting today I am back home in beautiful Kelowna BC so you are getting a video outside in my mom's backyard it's a good time I'm on a little staycation but today I am here to review with you um, my proteins clear whey isolate now I posted on my Instagram whether people knew about clear pro um, clear whey protein because I didn't apparently a lot of you guys did I've just been missing out this entire time but essentially the clear whey isolate um, if you're tired of really creamy like milky protein powder this is the solution because these flavors are meant to be like just normal drinks this is lemonade is one of the flavors i got and this is cranberry apple so i'm excited for just a bit of a change up in my um, supplementary routine because guys honestly you can only eat and drink so much vanilla protein powder before you're like okay i'm bored of this shit so the macros on this are really freaking impressive so the lemonade one it's 80 calories 20 grams of protein what and then the cranberry apple is um 20 grams of protein 90 calories so amazing way to get your protein supplemented if you are cutting on a diet or whenever you just need a drink but you want something with a bit more of a nutritional oomph. so i haven't opened these yet they're brand new this one still has the plastic packaging on it but let me, let me open this one up okay so i haven't opened them yet they're brand new haven't taste tested them yet because i wanted to do a first impressions review with you guys i'm going to read the instructions on here it says to mix it with um 10 to 12 fluid ounces of water so i'm gonna make these up and then i'm going to do a first impressions review tell you my likes my dislikes the pros the cons all the little itty bitty pieces that you guys probably don't care about but if you find this video useful, like, subscribe, comment, share this with your friends, and you know what? Let's get to it. Okay, so I've opened up the containers, and I'm going to tell you my first impressions in terms of like smell, and I'm going to dip my finger in the powder because I'm a child, guys. So this is the lemonade one. It doesn't smell really like lemonade, to be honest. It just kind of smells like powder. Like, it has a scent, but it's not lemonade. The scent isn't bad, but I don't think lemonade when I smell it. Okay, dipping my finger in here. Once again, I'm a child. Mmm, okay. The powder... Oh my god, okay. The powder actually does taste like lemonade, so that's a... That's a big bonus. That's a good start right there. And then this one, cranberry apple. Weirdly enough, it smells... It smells like vanilla protein powder and this might just be because um, all of my my protein stuff came in the same package with my like Two pound bag of vanilla protein powder. So that might be why this <laughs> smells like vanilla protein powder But yeah, it doesn't smell like cranberry apple, but let's taste the powder by itself Yeah, I'm not a hundred percent sure what that taste is like it's not bad, but I don't know about that one, so it'll be interesting to see what it tastes like when I actually mix it up, because this really tasted like lemonade. I'm not sure what this flavor was. Not that I don't like it, but okay. Let's mix these up and let's see if this can redeem itself, because so far I'm just kind of like, okay. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the lemonade clear whey protein isolate. It just says to do one scoop per 10 to 12 ounces of water. I have 10 ounces of water here. It says to shake it. Um, I didn't bring my shaker bottle with me on my staycation. So, oh my goodness, please do not splash everywhere. All right. <laughs> Guys, this might splash everywhere, but I'm gonna take my hand mixer. Yeah, I brought my hand mixer, not my shaker bottle. I know, smart. Gonna take my hand mixer, got the glass. Don't judge me. Okay. I'm genuinely scared. Okay. All right, so that was obviously a fail. Um, I got a measuring cup and I mixed it all up in there because the glasses were too small. So 
don't come for me we're going to be drinking out of a measuring cup today but this is the clear weight isolate after i ended up mixing it for about two-ish minutes it takes a while for the powder to definitely just like not clump and i think that's just because i don't have a shaker cup like it recommends but let's do our taste test looks like lemonade to me still doesn't fully smell like lemonade but you know what it is what it is Ooh. okay a couple thoughts on this so in terms of like the flavor the taste if it tastes like lemonade I'm gonna give it an 8 out of 10 definitely love the fact that it's not milky or anything but weird enough it still kind of has a milky aftertaste I don't get it one minute maybe I'm going insane okay I was definitely going insane it's not a milky aftertaste but it had yeah it definitely has like an artificial aftertaste which I'm not horribly upset at but and in terms of like the lemonade flavor itself this is more of a sweet than a tangy like there's a little bit of tang to it but I like my lemonade super tangy and this is definitely more of a sugary sweet not like sugary sweet but this is more of a sweet lemonade hmm yeah it's not bad definitely an 8 out of 10 Am I, is it something I want to reach for? Absolutely. But is it like forever my lemonade substitute? No. Personally, I would actually probably end up squeezing half a lemon in here just to get it a bit more tangy. Definitely going to be a great break from, from all of the milky whey isolate powders that I have. And I think this would be amazing with Greek yogurt if you wanted a lemon flavored Greek yogurt say goodbye to lemon drops that's what i've been using um the lemon flavoring now the way i slip powder is more than enough there's definitely a recommendation from me for this one if you like lemonade it's not the flavor is not 100 percent there but it's better than nothing if you get what i mean it's good i recommend it i give this a thumbs up all right so next we are doing reviewing the cranberry apple flavor just gonna put a scoop back in here washed it out I've washed off the mixer as well let's get at it it's great all right so I've finished mixing the cranberry apple one I think it's always a good idea to just let um, let the bubbles and stuff settle it seems to get more clear um, and less foamy as you let it settle like you can tell it's making a gradient effect right now but for the purposes of this taste test I'm just gonna go straight for it okay it wasn't I wasn't insane these actually do smell milky which is kind of off-putting when it's supposed to be a juice type protein powder I I understand because it's from like whey isolate which is from milk from my understanding it's that's probably why it has the milky smell but it's super off-putting yeah it just smells like milk I don't like it it's making me kind of nauseous to be honest but we're gonna go in with an open mind and just try it oh god don't smell this Let me try it again. So for me, that gets like a three out of 10. I don't even know where to start. Okay, so the first thing is I do not like the smell of this when it's mixed. Like it smells like milk. Um, and yeah, I, I just don't like it. I do not like the smell whatsoever. But when you drink it, and I'm gonna hold my breath because I the smell of this is actually making me really nauseous. I don't. Okay, so since there's like that foamy layer, it's making it kind of creamy, which I do not like. 
I feel like if the formulator was not there for me, and maybe it, I'm sure it'll disappear eventually, like the lemonade one eventually the foam layer disappeared, but this one specifically is very creamy and I do not like it. The flavor itself in terms of like cranberry apple, yes, I get the cranberry, it's like slightly tart, but the cre like the milk aftertaste is throwing me the fuck off <laughs> and I do not like this. Um, I do not recommend the cranberry apple one personally that I'm not liking the flavor. I'm not liking the scents. I'm not liking the texture of it. Like this is a no for me. Definitely recommend the, uh, the lemonade one, but even the lemonade one, like I said, it kind of has like a milk smell which when you're thinking of a juice and you smell milk you kind of do a double take i'm gonna try this again but guys this is almost like torture for me at this point on that now the more i drink it i just it's not getting better but i will say it also has like this interesting chalk chalk like taste if you ever ate chalk as a child you know what i mean um or dirt of any kind but when you first drink it it kind of has a chalk like taste I'm just not a fan so we're gonna put that to the side but thank you for watching this review this first impressions like I said I recommend the lemonade one that is definitely going to be a go-to I personally my taste buds are not vibing with the cranberry apple I it's just the smell is off to me the texture when you drink it is also off and I think that's just because of the foamy layer that is still not going away for whatever reason it didn't mix as nicely as the lemonade one did and the cranberry apple the taste is okay but it also has this milky chalk like taste to it that I think the formula on that one just needs to be improved a lot more because the lemonade one it seems like they got down pat and then the cranberry apple one I'm not sure what's going on there but hope you like this review. If you have any questions, comments, uh, critiques, let me know down below in my comment section. Always remember that your mindset is everything. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.